tongue and palate. We know the function of the tongue. It helps to mix the food at the same time. The taste buds on the tongue helps to find the taste. Then why we are talking about the palate? What is palate? The top part, the upper floor of our mouth cavity is called as palate. The wall which is separating the nasal cavity and the oral cavity, the middle wall is called as palate. It also helps in finding the taste a bit quicker, faster. How? Palate does not have any taste buds. Then how it contributes in finding the taste a bit faster? Here we have an activity. So take some sugar crystals, put some sugar crystals on your tongue, open your tongue, keep it open, put some sugar crystals on your tongue for some time. Do not close your mouth, do not touch your tongue to the palate. Let the sugar crystals be on the tongue, surface of the tongue, let them slowly melt then you will find the taste of the sugar means it takes long time because i already told you the surface of the tongue is not flat it is having so many depressions called as cups in the taste buds papillae in which the food is the dissolved liquid food has to come here when it is forced into these cups here the nerves will identify the taste and send it to the brain if you close your mouth if you touch your tongue to the palate when the tongue is pressed against the palate, it forces the sugar which is, which is melted in the saliva into these cups. It is forced in this way, then immediately you will come to know the taste. So, the palate, it helps in finding the taste of a food a bit faster because it is pushing the food into the cups so by that the food is analyzed there. So, in this way we find the relation between the palate, its contribution to the tongue in finding the taste a bit faster. Now the next thing mouth the munching machine. machine. Munching, chewing the food, mixing it with saliva. It's a very important process in the process of digestion. So in the digestion process here you are taking the help of the muscles and nerves which are well coordinating the movements in your mouth which helps you to choose the food. So you have the various apparatus to chew the food, primarily basically we have the teeth, it will cut the food into pieces. If the, if the food is not cut into pieces, it is not possible to properly digest it. That is one thing, the digestion may take very long time because the digestion is of two types. The digestion has two phases, one is physical or mechanical. Second thing is chemical, there are certain juices and enzymes, acids are secreted in the stomach and intestines which will digest the food that is chemical digestion. Physical, the food is moved, churned, shaken in the stomach, the food is chewed, masticated, well mixed with the saliva that is in the mouth physical digestion. So of course if this physical digestion is there of course you may not be able to enjoy the food also. You cannot enjoy the taste completely unless until you do not have teeth to chew the food. So in the physical part of digestion we have teeth and tongue. So you need to chew the food then only you can enjoy the food. So for this, this stage of digestion what other parts and systems are contributing? How this process is coordinated by the other systems? muscular system, muscles connected to your lower jaw and the muscles will be having nerves which will control the movement. You cannot chew every food item in the same manner. You will bite your tongue if you do that. If you are eating some chicken or mutton, some kind of non veg foods, if you are eating some bones, then more pressure is required by the muscle. If you are eating soft foods, it is a different thing. So depending upon the food, depending upon the complexity of the food, toughness of the food, that uh, stretching of the food, the elasticity of the food, the uh, hardness of the food item you are eating, your muscle contraction is based on. So your nervous system through nerves it is coordinating the muscle activity in your lower jaw. At the same time the tongue is also muscle. The tongue should be very carefully throwing the food down to the teeth, mixing the food 
and it should not fall under the teeth if it happens so you will bite your tongue of course sometimes it may happen because when you are talking to someone while eating the food so then you will lose a conscious and you use a by mistake you may bite your tongue so the coordination of this tongue movement the coordination of the muscle movement of the lower jaw for eating for mastication it is to be controlled so the food has to be digested the the food has to be broken down chewed well the munching is very important the food has to be broken down into small pieces in the mouth before it is swallowed so we can know the importance of it by doing some activity taking two bottles with the top removed put some vinegar and put some chalk pieces here like this in one beaker and in the other beaker you crush pieces of chalk you keep in one beaker you keep that half broken chalks you observe it so this one it will take less time to dissolve the chalk in the vinegar this will take more time so just you compare this long pieces of chalk with the food which is eaten without chewing and this small crushed pieces of chalk with the food which is eaten by proper chewing so if the food is taken by proper chewing it will dissolve so quickly in the digestive juices it will provide more surface so there is a more chance of enzymes and other chemicals to work on here the less surface is exposed so less work goes on so it takes more time sometimes it may lead to indigestion and stomach ache all such conditions so that is the importance of the chewing breaking down the food into small pieces in the mouth so here the different parts like teeth we have 32 teeth and a tongue and uh, the muscles in the mouth circular muscles in the mouth and the muscles in the lower jaw and the cranial nerve which control the movement in the lower jaw that is the fifth cranial nerve so the teeth 32 teeth we have different types of teeth incisors we have four incisors in each jaw canines we have two canines molars premolars and molars so how many will be having four and six molars so this is the number you have four incisors in one jaw into 2 2 so you have eight incisors and you have four canines and you have eight premolars and you have 12 total 32 teeth we have which help in the process of mastication we call this chewing process as mastication so see how many things are coordinated here to brought up the process mastication bones that is the teeth the bone in the lower jaw muscle the fifth cranial nerve circular muscles in the mouth lips tongue muscles and tongue nerves everything all these are coordinated well to brought up the process of mastication successfully